You're in the winter. I mean, people say, oh, you can lay down Main Street in January, you're not going to run over. That was fact. Back in the late 80s and early 90s, most of Main Street did close. There was many a time that there was probably more bighorn sheep and deer in Uray than there were people on Main Street. Because I'd come from Alaska where there was all this natural ice, and here was a, a man-made park that you could access within a five-minute walk of the town. You're hearing people speaking Italian and French and German. It's Korea, China, Pakistan, Nepal. It's, it's international here now because of this ice park. Last year I met a Brazilian climber that came up here just to, this was his vacation, so instead of like going on a ski vacation, he came to Ure to climb ice. It has become the economic engine for the winter, enabling businesses to stay open year round. Oh, it's motels, restaurants, gear shops, the hot springs pool. Everybody in Ure benefits from this. Literally, it's like one of the meccas in, uh, in the world for ice climbing. It just extends so far and so much more than just Uray. Every All the way from Montrose, Telluride, Ridgeway, even as far as Durango. We had no idea it was going to turn into this booming winter economy. The ice park being the economic engine that drives this during the wintertime and makes all possible. <laughs>